This is David Thompson with Freshworks, and I'm here with the CEO and co-founder of Freshworks, Girish Matrubutam. And we're going to talk about the news today coming out of the company, uh, as well as get a broader perspective on the SaaS industry. Uh, leads us right into one of the big news items today, uh, which is uh, we've announced that uh, the company's reached the $100 million dollar uh, annual recurring revenue uh, milestone, which is obviously a big one. And so uh, what do you think the, the key to getting to that big number as fast as you have? What, what's the key to that success? So first of all, let me uh, start by telling that as a startup, which started with nothing. So I would say I'm super happy and uh, thrilled and proud that we got to $100 million. So when we started out, Uh, in 2010, we started as a small uh, group of people from Chennai in India. Like even in India, Bangalore is considered to be a, a startup hub. Chennai wasn't so much of a startup hub then. So when we started from Chennai, we did not attempt to sell to any customers in Chennai or even India. So we actually decided to put out the product and go on an online acquisition model And actually, our first customer came from Australia. Uh, when we had our first six customers, uh, we had customers from four different continents. So in that sense, we were global from day one. And the whole realization was, uh, again, in hindsight, I would say if a company starts in the U.S., they would first attempt to build out a sales team in the U.S., go and get customers in the U.S., and then branch out to Europe, and then branch out to Australia or India. Uh, if a company starts out in Australia, they first win in Australia before they go into the U.S., But for us, we didn't have that choice. Or at least consciously, we made um, we made a decision that we will not go and try to sell to customers in Chennai or India uh, because it was easier for us to go online and get customers. And that really opened up a very new model for us. And, and uh, I think it's available for everybody today. Is how can you serve the long tail of the global SMB with a complete online uh, acquisition model and do it profitably. Mm -hmm. Like uh, a lot of times you can't serve, the, the conventional wisdom has been that you can't serve the SMB uh, profitably, right? It, it's because they are hard to reach and uh, the budgets are very small. And uh, so what, what we have demonstrated is how you can build a successful business by focusing on serving the uh, SMB, the long tail of the global SMB. And that's how we started in the initial years. But what we figured out over the last three years, uh, like we have then built on top of that model to go and sell to the larger companies. So now we have like uh, three different uh, kinds of customers, like uh, larger enterprise customers. Uh, we have mid-market customers uh, across all uh, geographies. And then we also have uh, uh, tens of thousands of SMB customers. Excellent. Um And then the other big piece of news that came out today was Freshworks 360, um, which is a new uh, platform bundle, if you will, for lack of a better term. And uh, it, it combines several of the products um, that are currently individually sold into one. Uh, so tell us a little bit about the vision that, that drove you to, toward that. So this is the first time I'm going to really talk about our vision publicly. So. So when we started with Fresh Desk, our whole plan was this was going to be the first stop in the customer journey. So we always wanted to build out the whole uh, solution or, or map out the entire customer journey and create a product that works across the customer journey. So in order for you to understand our vision, so let me start by giving you a simple analogy. So if we go back to, let's say, 2005 and uh, look at some of the products that we all were using. So let me pick a few categories. Like uh, if you take phones, mobile phones, we all used a Motorola or a LG or a, a Samsung phone. Um, if you take point and shoot cameras, there was Canon or Nikon or Kodak. If you take MP3 players, we were using a SanDisk or a, a, a Transcend MP3 player, a portable DVD player, uh, like uh, Sony or a Samsung. Uh, some people use Walkmans. So a GPS for uh, uh, navigation, we use TomTom Tom or Garmin. Now I want you to pause for a minute and think about these product categories. Now each one of these uh, categories was a distinct category. A lot of 
innovation had gone into building products in each one of this category. As customers, we all assumed that we needed to buy all these products. So as a customer, I used to think I need to buy a phone because I need to make calls. I need to buy a, a Walkman or an MP3 player because I need to listen to music. I need to buy a portable DVD player because my kid has to watch movies on the plane and so on. Now, I want you to take that analogy and apply it to business software. Now, what if there is an iPhone moment in business software? Now, let me explain what I mean by that. See, today customers are actually thinking that hey, I need to buy different product categories. And, and we are selling to them, right? So if somebody wants a customer support help desk, they go and search for help desk software and then they actually come and buy fresh desk or they buy Zendesk. So if somebody wants a, a, a sales CRM, they go and search for CRM and they buy a CRM software. So if they want a help desk software, they go and search for help desk and they buy a help desk software like fresh desk. If they want marketing automation software, they actually go and search for it and they buy a marketing automation software. So today, customers believe that they need to buy all these different categories and then they also are forced to make this software work together. So they are using the APIs, they are hiring the developers and trying to connect everything and make it work together, right? So now this is the question that we have, we asked ourselves, how can we create one product or one experience which actually gives a superior customer engagement platform to the customers. So what if I can give you a platform for my customer where you can understand everything about your customer from marketing to sales to support to uh, chat or phones, uh, phone calls. So, so imagine this. So what if a business knows like which marketing campaigns a customer responded to? What did they do on the website? Which white paper did they download? Uh, like inside the app, if, if it's a trial, like what were the users doing inside the app? And did they talk about us on social media? Were they happy or unhappy? Did they send in support tickets? Were they, did they respond to a survey and said they were unhappy? Uh, what did we talk to them about in the phone calls, in the emails, in the chat conversation? So can a business know everything in one place. So it seems like there's two aspects to what you're talking about in terms of this iPhone analogy. There's actually integrating the features across the different devices, or in this case, if you take sales software, support software, marketing software, and mash them all up together in, in one experience, um, that, that is an obvious advantage that you just have to go to one place instead of a lot of different places to get that uh, customer journey in view. Um, but then there's also the data aspect of that, where you know, when yeah. you buy different solutions, your data gets siloed and fragmented. Is is that one of the ideas? Is to start yeah. bringing that together? Yeah. Exactly. So, if you really think about uh, the everyday usage scenarios, right? Uh, let's say a support person is actually working on uh, a ticket. Like they need to know who's this customer. Like what have they purchased? Uh, how valuable are they to our business? Or if a salesperson is negotiating a contract. They should know that this person has actually sent in, this customer has sent in a, a support ticket and they're actually not happy. So now is not the best time to go and uh, renegotiate the contract. So you can keep imagining all of these scenarios across marketing and sales and, and support. The context of where is this customer right now? Where are we in our relationship with this customer is so important to help smart decision making for employees and that is a very important aspect of uh, integrating all of this and, and when I say integrating making sure everything works as an instant on without you having to bring in the consultants and actually spend all the uh, time and money on making things work so that is the most important part and the collaboration between these team members so sales teams and uh, marketing teams and, and support teams and product managers and security experts and data center guys and IT guys. Like how can all of, see, at the end of the day, we are all working to make our customers successful. So how can the teams inside the business actually collaborate effectively with each other without getting trapped into their silos, which exactly the... And it sounds like that, that may be the impetus behind calling it a, a customer engagement platform. Is that is yes. that fair to say? Yeah, very interesting.
So just a final question for you, Gadish. What? Tell me a little bit more about uh, what animates your kind of design philosophy in the product. When we talked about Freshworks 360, we spoke about the iPhone. So one of the key design philosophies that we have at Freshworks is about always building software for the user of the product. In fact, we focus so much uh, more obsessively on like the front line engineer or the support person or the salesperson, um, and all of them actually love our product. Sometimes we have had uh, a lot of feature requests that come to our product are from the supervisors or from the managers. Uh, like two or three years ago, this used to be the case. And uh, so we believe that if you empower the frontline employee, right, to be more productive, to have all the context that they need, to be able to collaborate effectively with other employees. So that is the design principle with which we build all of our software. So uh, our focus will be excessively on making the user of our software more productive. And uh, I think that comes fundamentally from our belief that happy employees equal to happy customers. Ah, very interesting. Great. Thanks for the time today. Appreciate it.